welcome to another episode of Our Thought, Lace, and Praise. Ginger here. In this video, I'll show you how I made this watercolor painting and what inspired me to make it. I'll be working on an 8.5 by 11 inch Strathmore sketchbook that has heavyweight uh, 300 GSM cold press paper and I'll use Japanese Gansai Tambi paints which is my favorite type of watercolor because it's more opaque and vibrant compared to other North American brands. Kuritake is the more popular brand of Gansai paint but what I have here is called Kisho which has 72 pans in a set. I am drawing inspiration from a photo I took during a vacation we had in Malaysia it's a street side scene of a coconut vendor in Kuala Lumpur. It was a fascinating experience for me to stop by the roadside and, and watch a young man chop coconuts and extract fresh juice from it. You know, it's not something we see every day in North America. We, we can't even taste the freshness of real coconut juice here. The canned ones we buy in grocery stores taste weird to me, like the chemicals and preservatives are too strong and it kind of robs me of my enjoyment of the drink. But honestly, it's hard to tell the difference unless you've tasted real fresh juice straight from the husk, as we did during our three-week stay in Asia. That refreshing taste was to die for, really, especially during those hot humid days. And so I wanted to capture that special memory and paint it, paint it in this travel sketchbook. You see, different people keep sketchbooks for different reasons. Some use it to practice their illustrations so they can improve their skills and painting techniques. Some use it as a travel companion to catalog the many places they visit. For me, uh, urban sketching is like keeping a diary. I like painting the scenes that I experience myself as opposed to painting the pictures I find in Pinterest or Instagram or Etsy which other people posted and aren't unrelated to my life story. I like sketching things and places that are relevant to my personal experiences because the painting process itself helps me relive the memory just like what writing in a diary or journaling does. People have different ways of capturing memories. Most take photos or videos, as I do too. Some jump into scrapbooking or they write out their stories in prose, poetry, freeform verse, or even as song lyrics. Me, I like to paint. And even if I can't paint every single detail in the actual scene, like I can't be realistic in my portrayal and I miss a building or two or there's supposed to be a lot, uh, a lot of parked cars in the street here but I didn't draw them in my sketchbook, for me that's okay. My interpretation of the scene may be flawed or it may be colored differently but the most important thing is that the memory was documented. Years down the road, I want to be able to dig up this sketchbook again and have an aha moment and say, yeah, I remember this place. It was an awesome experience and I'm glad I went there. So what am I saying here? Friends, I encourage you to paint through your life. Give it a try. Grab a sketchbook and Fill it with your life experiences. You can even scribble notes on the page and write down the name of the place you visited or the dates you were there or maybe write the list of people who celebrated that occasion with you. Whatever you do, treat it like a visual diary or a, a journal of sorts. Sometime in the future, you'll be glad you did.
While working on this painting, a friend of mine rang the door and gave me a surprise visit. She handed me these bags of fresh macarons, which she baked herself. Aren't they pretty, right? I, I was really stoked to open them right away, but I put the goodies on my table instead and used them as a surprise to motivate me to finish the job. I'll binge on them when my urban sketch is done. So uh, I guess what I'm saying is, if sketching ever becomes tiring for you, go and find a goal for yourself. Find something like some form of reward besides a pat on the back that can push you to complete your work. This painting, uh, honestly, it took me several days to finish. I'm not as fast of a painter as other urban sketchers maybe, so the pastries did serve as a boost for me to not give up. Alright friends, that's it for this episode of Art That Place and Praise. I hope this watercolor painting along with a quick trip to Sri Har Thomas in Kuala Lumpur inspired you to start sketching through your life. Even if you don't travel, go ahead and sketch your morning cup of coffee or, or maybe your dog asking for treats or maybe your living room filled with the clutter you never had time to put away. Journal your ordinary life in extraordinary ways and then say a quick prayer of thanks to the Lord who made your days bright and beautiful. <music>